Hello friends, welcome to Learner's Planet. This is Alka Maheshwari. In this session, we just see comparison between fractions and arrangement of fractions in ascending or descending order. In this session, friends, we'll be I'll be sharing some of the tips and tricks with you so you can do this sort of problems or uh, the comparison of fractions and their arrangement uh, very quickly and easily in your competitive exams. Uh, so let's begin our session. Uh, let's take one problem. Suppose I am having 2 by 3 and 5 by 6. Now friends, the very first step, if the fraction looks like smaller, uh, smaller numbers are there, then you just see the difference between numerator and denominator. Here the difference between numerator and denominator is 1. Here also the difference between numerator and denominator is 1. So, if the difference between numerator and denominator is same, in that case, the fraction which is having higher numerator or higher denominator will be bigger. You just have to see whether the numerator is higher. Uh, in this case, 2 is lesser than 5. That means 5 is greater than 2. So, the fraction 5 by 6 will be greater than 2 by 3. Okay, friends. Similarly, one more uh, uh, technique you can apply over here. It's 2 by 3. It's 5 by 6. You should do a cross multiplication. It's 2 into 6. We, start, we have to start from the numerator of left hand side's fractions. And here it is 5 into 3. So, here I am getting 12. And here I am getting 15. Now, since 15 is greater than 12, Fraction 5 by 6 will be greater than 12. 15 is greater than 12. So, 5 by 6 will be greater than 12. Now, let's take one more example. I am having 2 by 3 and 13 by 17. Now, let's cross multiply. It's 2 into 17. It's 3 into 13. So, it's 34, it's 39. Since 39 is greater than 34, 13 by 17 will be greater than 2 by 3. 13 by 17 is greater than 2 by 3. Alternatively, I can solve this problem. I am writing 2 by 3 over here and 13 by 17 over here. Now, the difference between numerator and denominator here is, is 1 and difference between numerator and denominator here it is 4. So, I can make this difference also 4 if I multiply the numerator and denominator by 4. That means the 4 times 1. So, what it will be? It will be 8 by 12. So, 8 by 12 is equivalent to 2 by 3 and this is 13 by 17. Now, the difference between numerator and denominator in this case and in this case it is same. So, now, now we can make the direct comparison. So, as we have already discussed, if the difference between numerator and denominator is same, the number, the fraction which is having higher numerator will be higher. So, 13 by 17 will be greater than 8 by 12. Okay, friends. So, we have shared three techniques over here. Uh, let's apply the techniques to some more problems. Now, I am having a fraction 92 by 99 and 14 by 15. Let's make the comparison between these two. Uh, between 92 and 99, there is a difference of 17. Uh, in this case, the difference between numerator and denominator is 1. Okay. Now, I can make this difference uh, to 7 by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 7. So, what I will be getting? Here it is 92 by 99. In this case, 14 into 7, I will be getting 98 and 15 into 7, I will be getting 105. Now, in this case, the difference is 7. In this case, the difference is 7. So, the number, who, the fraction which is having higher uh, numerator will be higher. So, it is 98 is uh, greater than 92. Hence, 98 by 105 is, will be greater than uh, 92 by 99. That means, 14 by 15 is greater than 92 by 99. 99. Isn't it so simple friends? Let's take one more problem. Now, 
I am having a fraction that is uh, maybe 15 by 90 and other fraction is it's 9 by 11. In this case the difference between numerator and denominator is 4 and in this case the difference is 2. So by multiplying this fraction by 2 I will be getting the difference between numerator and denominator as 4. Now it is 9 twos are 18 and 11 twos are 22 and this is 15 by 19. Now in both the cases the difference between numerator and denominator is same. We can make the direct comparison since the numer numerator of this fraction is higher. So this fraction will be greater than 15 by 19. That means 9 by 11 is greater than 15 by 19. Okay friends. Now let's take this comparison 18 by 25 and 3 by 4. I am going to apply the other technique over here the cross multiplication technique. We can apply any one of them. It's 18 by 4, 18 into 4 and it is 25 into 3. So 18 into 4 is 72 and it is 75. So 75 is greater than 72 hence 3 by 4 will be greater than 18 by 25. So 3 by 4 will be greater than 18 by 25. Or you can make the comparison between numerator and denominator also. Here in this case it is 7 and here in this case it is 1 only. So if we uh, try to make this uh, difference as 7 uh, we'll be getting uh, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator of 3 by 4 by 7. So what we'll be getting 7 into 3 21. Here it is 18 and here we'll be getting 21. So definitely 3 by 4 is greater than 18 by 25. Okay friends. Now let's take this problem. In this problem, we have to arrange the fraction in ascending order. Now friends, we have to fi uh, find which is the biggest fraction. So we just see the difference between numerator and denominator in each case. In this case, we are getting it is 2. It, in, the, it is, in this case, we are getting as 3. In this case, we are getting as 3. In this case, we are getting as 2. In this case, we are getting the difference as 1. And in this case also, we are getting the difference as 1. So the difference between numerator and denominator in these two cases is 1. And in other cases, it is more than 1. And since the numerator of this case is the highest, so definitely 6 by 7 will be the highest fraction. Similarly, 5 by 6 will be the next one. That is, it will be immediately uh, lower to uh, uh, immediately less than 5 by 6. Now we have to make the comparison between these uh, four. Okay, friends. Now it is 3 by 5 will be greater than 2 by 5. It's obvious because the numerator of this is bigger and the denominator is same. Now, just uh, let's multiply the remainings. It's if it is 1 by 3 and 4 by 7. So it will be 7 and it will be 12. So 4 by 7 is greater than 1 by 3. So I write 4 by 7 here and 1 by 3 here. I just uh, keep some space over there to fit the uh, remaining numbers. So now suppose I make the comparison between 4 by 7 and 3 by 5. So it is 20 and it is 21. So 3 by 5 is greater than 4 by 7. So I write 3 by 5 over here. Now between 2 by 5 and 4 by 7, it's 14 and it is 20. So 4 by 7 is greater than 2 by 5. So I write 2 by 5 over here. So I got the order as 1 by 3, 2 by 5, 4 by 7, 3 by 5, 5 by 6 and 6 by 7. We have done this problem, this comparison, this arrangement so quick, so fast. If at all you also practice, it will be done very faster. Friends, you can also make a cross check at the end. Let's uh, see how, how we can do, do this. It's uh, Let's start calculating from the rightmost side. It's 35, it's 36. So we are uh, right at this place. It's 18 and it is 25. So again we are right. It's 20 and it's 21. It's 14 and it's 20. It's 5 and it's 6. So whatever we have written, whatever the order we have written over here, it's quite correct. Okay friends, let's take one more set of fractions. Now 
Now let's try this problem. It's uh, here it is a difference between uh, the numerator and denominator is 4. Here it is also 4. Here it is 7 and here it is 6. So let's see 11 by 17 must be the highest. I uh, in the in between these two 7 by 11 must be greater. Definitely because the difference between numerator and denominator is uh, same in both the cases. Now let's see uh, uh, by cross checking 17 into 7 that is 119 and 11 into 11 will be 121. So definitely 11 by 17 will be greater. So the correct sequence is 11 by 17 and 7 by 11 and then uh, we have to make the comparison between 5 by 9 and 8 by 15. So 15 into 5 is 75 and 9 into 8 is 72. So definitely 5 by 9 will be greater. Okay friends, so we have done it so quickly, so fast. Even you can cross check. It is 119, it is 121, it is 55, it is 63, it is 72 and it is 75. Okay friends, let's take one more set. Now let's take this uh, set of fractions. It's 19 by 21 over here. The difference is 2. In this case, the difference is 3. In this case, the difference is 3. And the numerator is highest of this fraction. Okay. And the difference is also uh, smaller than the other two. So definitely 19 by 21 will be the greatest. Now between these two, here the difference is 3. Here the difference is 3. So the numerator of this fraction is higher. That's why 16 by 19 will be greater than 11 by 14. It's quite simple, friends. Now let's try this problem. It's 8 by 9, 9 by 11. Let's see which one is bigger. 11 into 8, 88 and 9 into 9, 81. So definitely 8 by 9 is greater than 9 by 11. Now let's uh, see the other numbers. It's 27 and it's 35. So 7 by 9 will be greater than 3 by 5. Now uh, see the status of uh, uh, 2 by 3. It's 9 and it's 10. So 2 by 3 is greater than 3 by 5. So let's, I put it over here, 2 by 3. Now see whether it is uh, less than 7 by 9 or not. So it's 18 and it's 21. So definitely it is less than 2 by 3. So the correct order is 3 by 5, 2 by 3, 7 by 9, 9 by 11 and 8 by 9. Further, if at all you wish to be sure about it, you can cross multiply. It's 81, it's 88. It is 77, it's 81. It's 18, it's 21. It's 9 and it's 10. So we were correct. Friends, I hope you might have enjoyed the session. You might have learned a lot about uh, comparison of fractions and arrangement in descending and descending order. Uh, we'll be discussing more problems in our coming sessions uh, uh, from competitive examination point of view. We'll be having MCQ pattern of problems. So how could we eliminate the options uh, and so we don't have to uh, solve the complete problem. Okay, friends. So do practice well with the methods and all the best.